Okay, so again, recall the definition of Laplace transform uh, of f equals integral from zero to infinity f of e to the minus st dt. That's a Laplace transform. So on theorem 16, we basically have to show that the Laplace transform is a linear transformation. So it means that the, the, the plus of, say, alpha f plus beta g is the same as alpha times L of f plus beta times L or Laplacian of g. So pretty much uh, the Laplacian distributes inside here and the constants come out. Okay, so let's prove this. Okay, so proof. Okay, so let's look at the definition of Laplace of alpha f plus beta g. So here's my definition up here. I guess this whole thing will go in place of what I'm calling f up here. So this whole thing will go here. I guess it's not great notation because I'm using f here and here, but it's fine. This whole thing will be what the f uh, will be go in place of the f up here. So it'll be then this guy, e to the minus st. We can then distribute the e guy in here. So doing that, we get then. Okay, so I distribute distributed the e in, and I got this then. And now recall the integral of the sum of two functions is equal to the integral of the first function plus integral of the second function. So therefore, we can break this into two integrals here. So doing that, we get then. Okay, so I broke it up into two integrals using properties of uh, the integral. Now, other properties of integrals, you can pull out constants. So I can pull out the alpha in front here, pull out the beta in front here. So doing that, we get then. Okay, so pull the alpha out of this one, which I've done here. Pull the beta out of this one, which I've done here. And then uh, you should recognize then that this first integral here, comparing that with the Laplace transform, that's just going to be the Laplace transform of f by definition. And looking at this integral, that's g times e to the minus st integral 0 to infinity, that's just going to be by definition Laplace of g. So this guy is Laplace of f, this is Laplace of g. So making those substitutions we get then. So we get this then. So again, that's Laplace of g. That's by definition applause of f. And we have the alpha in front of this one, beta in front of this one. And that's what we're trying to show up here. So we're done with the proof. Okay, so we're finished with the proof. Now let's do an example. So let me erase a few things and we'll do an example. Okay, so here's our example find Laplace of f and say your f here is t squared plus 9t uh, plus 5. So I've summarized, I've written all the theorems down that we've proven so far about Laplace transform. We're first going to use theorem 16. So applying theorem 16 to this we get then. Okay, so applying theorem 16 uh, means we can distribute the Laplace, so it'll be Laplace of t squared that will be 9 times Laplace of t plus 5 times Laplace of 1. Okay, now we're going to use theorem 14 to figure out these guys. Because theorem 14 says that the Laplace of t to the n is n factorial over s to the n plus 1. So on the first one, uh, we have our n is 2. So applying theorem 14 to this guy, we get then. Okay, so first note that t to the 0 is 1. So you can think of this 1 here as t to the 0. So you could use theorem 14 on, on this then, with the n being 0. So we're going to use theorem 14 on each of these. So on the first one, we have a 2 for the n. So applying theorem 14 with n being 2, it'll be 2 factorial over uh, s to the 2 plus 1, because it's n plus 1. Then applying theorem 14 to Laplace of t, here, the, one, uh, the exponent on the t is 1 here. So we're going to put 1 in place of n. So it'll be 1 factorial over s to the 
1 plus 1, and plus 5 times a plus of 1. So again, 1 you can think of as t to the 0. So you can apply theorem 14 with n being 0. So it'll be 0 factorial over s to the 0 plus 1. Okay, and uh, 2 factorial is 2, 1 factorial is 1, and by de definition, actually, 0 factorial is defined to be 1 also. So simplifying this, we get then. Okay, so simplifying this, 2 factorial is 2, and so it's going to be 2 over s cubed, and it's going to be 9 times 1, so it be 9 over s squared here. And again, 0 factorial is 1, so it's going to be 5 times 1, so 5 over s here. So this would be the Laplace transform of our f up here. So this would be your answer here. Okay, so let's take a look at a, another example. So let me erase a few things and we'll do another example. Okay, so part B here, say our function is 2t plus 5 squared plus sine 2t plus e to the 7t. Now looking at the theorems we have over here, we have one for the sine of kt. Okay, it's fine. We have one for e to the at, so I'll cover this one. And we have Laplace of t to the n, but we don't have 2t plus 5 squared any, anywhere here. So the first thing we're going to have to do is expand this guy and then we can apply theorem 14 to it. So let's first expand this. So doing that we get then. Okay, so expanding the 2t plus 5. So multiplying that you get 4t squared plus 10t plus 25. Then rewriting your f using this guy now we, uh, we get then. Okay, so I've rewritten my f. Now let's apply theorem 16. So doing that, we get then. Okay, so applying theorem 16 will be then uh, 4 times Laplace of uh, t squared plus 10 times Laplace of t plus 25 times uh, Laplace, should be Laplace here. Let me change that. So 25 times Laplace of 1, but 1 you can write as t to the 0, so I'm writing it as t to the 0 here, because I, I want to use theorem 14 up here. That will be Laplace of sine of 2t uh, plus Laplace of e to the 7t. Okay, so in this first line up here, we're going to apply theorem 14 to each of those, with the first one n being 2, second one n being 1, third one here n being 0. And for the sine guy, we're going to apply theorem 15. And for the E guy, we're going to apply theorem 13. So doing that, we get then the following. Okay, so applying uh, theorem 14 to the T squared becomes 2 factorial over S to the 2 plus 1, applying it to the T, 1 factorial over S to the 1 plus 1, applying it to the T0, would be 0 factorial over S to the 0 plus 1, applying theorem 15, to the sine of 2t. The k then would be 2 here. So it'd be k, so it'd be 2 over s squared plus k squared, so 2 squared, and plus applying theorem 13 to the e guy with the uh, a being 7, so it'd be 1 over s minus 7. Okay, so 2 factorial is 2, 1 factorial is 1, 0 factorial is 1. So simplifying this a bit further, we get then. Okay, so simplifying this, so 2 factorial is 2, so 2 times 4 is 8, that'll be 8 over s cubed, that'll be 10 times 1, so it'll be 10 over s squared here, 25 times 1, so it'll be 25 over s here, 2 over s squared plus 4, plus 1 over s minus 7. Okay, so that's the Laplace transform of our f. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there in this video. Okay, so we're done.